the left side, Coleman started left, back to the right, still on the dribble, stops, pops, it drops from 18. Coleman driving in right around him and slams it. Races into the lane, another great pass to Jericho. Seven assists for Coleman. Let's go straight past it, lobs to Bobbins with a slam. Pretty lob pass. What a move by the freshman Matt Coleman. Matt Coleman has been absolutely magnificent. Matt Coleman coming off a career high 22 points against OU, 8 of 13 from the field, a couple of threes, and maybe most importantly, perfect from the free throw line. I, I got to ask you a question, Coach. The talk all week long, let's be honest, was about Trey Young, this great freshman point guard on the other team. It seemed to me like the freshman point guard for you guys, Matt Coleman, had a bit of a chip on his shoulder coming into this game, really playing with extra intensity. What did you make of that? Well, he should have. You're talking about two point guards from the same high school class. They both played on the Nike EYBL circuit, so they played against each other all the time in AAU. And they're competitors, both of them. So neither one of them wanted to back down from the other. Trey Young is playing better than anyone in the country, but Matt wanted to step up and say, hey, I'm a good player too, and I can lead my team as well. I could tell there was a little something extra there. By the way, Coleman ranked the number six point guard in the nation coming out of high school, Trey Young number four. All right, we talked about all the stats for Matt Coleman, but let's break down a little bit of his game on Saturday. Start with some plays maybe that don't show up in the box score, but they definitely had an impact. Well, he does a lot of things for our team that don't show up in the box score. And to be honest, as a freshman guard, he's played terrific defense. Here you see him stay in front of the ball and then contest a shot. And again, that's not something that's going to be written about in the newspaper. But when you're playing against the leading scorer, leading assist man in the country, that's huge. Again, what Oklahoma does is they pass the ball from Trey Young, but then they get it right back to him, and then he attacks. So in this case, Matt stays in front of him. It allows us to force a turnover. Now we can get it back and go score on the other end. I don't think people realize how exhausting that is to cover the best player in the nation on defense and then offensively drop in 22. Well, there you see him again. Just, again, moving his feet. We say feet and chest to stay in front of a guy. Moving his feet to keep him out of the lane, forcing the turnover. And with a high-powered offense like Oklahoma, if you can do the little things like that, move your feet, keep him out of the paint, contest a shot, that gives you a chance to keep them under a certain number. They average 90 points a game, so to keep them under that, and that gives you a chance to win. Impressive defense. Meanwhile, on offense, Coleman's got a better assist-to-turnover ratio than Trey Young, but when you talk about his progression as a distributor, solely passing the ball, what have you seen from him? I think he's gotten better and better. Uh, the one thing with assists is you need your teammate to make the shot. So uh, he's done a better job passing the ball I think he's still learning when to pass and when to attack, but just a simple play of getting in the paint, drawing Eric Davis's man, and kicking it out is huge. Uh, he had a really good game passing the ball in this game against Ole Miss, just finding the open man. And that's how you can make your teammates better, is getting them the ball where they want it, when they want it. In this case, he turns down the ball screen. And the thing about that play, if you run it back a little bit, Alex, mm -hmm. is, in fact, I think we'll see the replay here. Um, but if you see this play here, when he gets downhill um, and he passes the ball to Mo, he throws it. We call this a jump ball. Watch when he throws it up. There's only one man on the planet that's going to get that ball <laughs> well, at that height. That. Okay? <laughs> so we want to throw it up to Mo. And Matt, as, uh, in terms of the guys on our team, does as good a job as anyone. Again, just throwing that thing up so he can jump and go get it. You could see the chemistry between the two building with each game. Uh, offensively, we'll continue with Coleman's game there. Scoring, you know, it seems like he's getting better at deciding when to shoot and when to pass. You know, to yep. some people, it comes naturally right away. I, I know it's been a, a learning lesson for him. Well, it's a balance, and he's a guy who is a pass-first point guard, but he's also a guy over the years who's put the ball in the basket some. It's funny, you know, the, the other day against OU, I told him at one point, you're shooting too much. Uh, and he kind of looked at me and got mad at me. Those are the shots we want him to take. Though. Right. I mean, in rhythm, on balance, shooting the ball. Here he makes a really good play, crossing over and stepping back. But he was in rhythm. He was in rhythm. He was feeling it uh, and attacking. Here you see, you know, he, he's missed a couple dunks now, Alex. So for him to go down the lane and throw it down with authority, uh, he's trying to prove to our coaching staff, hey, don't tell me I'm not a dunk guy. <laughs>
Don't tell me to stop shooting or dunking. I'm taking it to the rack. What about his intangibles? A point guard, the quarterback of the team, needs those intangibles, the decision-making, the poise, yeah. uh, the calmness. Well, he's in charge of driving the culture of our team from that point guard position, and that's both on and off the court. One of his great intangibles is getting with his teammates off the court, spending time with those guys, and making those guys understand that he cares about them. Uh, another one on the court is just talking, you know, communicating with guys, making sure everyone's on the same page, getting five guys working as one. That is so valuable. I know you told him to stop shooting, but after that performance on Saturday. I didn't say stop shooting, Alex. <laughs> I said you're shooting too much. Uh, and there's a difference. For me, you know, again, if they're in rhythm, if they're great shots, go ahead and let them go. But there was a couple that were rushed, and I wanted him to find Mo, find Dylan, find Snoop, because those guys, they need some sugar too.